Hi guys, it's Scav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's video, I'm bringing you my Premier League predictions from night seven, which is on March the 15th from the Motor Point Arena in Nottingham. As always, it's live on Sky Sports from 7 p.m. Now, just before we go any further, I want to apologize because as you all know, I normally do this with fans on the show. Unfortunately, there well, there was two that was interested. I've not been able to get hold of either of them. Um, so if you do want to come on the show, guys, please do get in touch. I know that there's a lot of you that do. Please keep an eye out for your emails because we need to schedule the time in so that I can do this with the fans. It's so much more fun. And then you guys just ain't got to look at me waffling on all the time. So, uh, looking, really looking forward to the Premier League in Nottingham. Also, the Premier League uh, prediction shows are now sponsored by... Da -da -da. FantasyDarts.tv, yes, that's my new prediction site where you guys can add your predictions, get involved in the forums, have loads of banter, and play 100% free for cash pool prizes. So please, please check out www.FantasyDarts.tv. Now, let's have a look at the opening match. Just also, I just want to say, Leeds last week I felt was really strange. It wasn't full of high averages. Peter Wright was out of sorts. Gary Anderson didn't look himself. Um... Michael Smith probably could have beat Rob Cross, had his first defeat. Just a strange night. Let's have a look at what's going to be happening in Nottingham and the fixtures. The opening game of the evening is Michael Bully Boy Smith against Peter Snake by Wright. Last week, uh, Michael Smith lost to Rob Cross 7-5. Again, very low average, just a 92.61 average. Uh, Peter Wright was thrashed by Mencia Suljevic 7-1. Uh, uh, he had a 91.54 average, so out of sort. It's really difficult for me because you guys know I'm a massive, massive, massive Peter Wright fan. Uh, he doesn't seem right to me, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, since Christmas when he, had, he was ill and lost a weight. He's done a few things that are a little bit out of character, again, which I don't think are really him. He has a massive high average, then he has a low average. Uh, Michael Bully Boy Smith, it was obviously his first defeat last week. But he's been winning some matches with really low averages. Last week did get found out against Rob Cross. I think that this one is going to be a tight match. But as I'm a Peter Wright fan, I'm going for Wright to pick up again. Especially because he got to the final um, of the Players' Championship uh, at the weekend. He did lose 6-0. But I'm hoping he brings a little bit of that form. Stick with his darts. And he's going to beat Bully Boy Smith 7-0. Five. Next up, we go to Simon Whitlock against Daryl Gurney. Um, last week, Simon Whitlock lost to MVG with a 92.28 average. Gurney uh, drew with Anderson 6 all with a 94.62. Again, Gurney should have won. I don't know how many times he needs to get himself uh, ahead in this Premier League. He needs to just get that win. Once he does, I think he'll be all right. Simon Whitlock, now two losses in a row. Uh, not playing the best starts, I don't think. He needs to hold the position he's in, but I think this week that Gurney, super chin, is going to have too much for Whitlock, and he is going to beat him 7-4. Next up, we come to Mensa Silivich and Gentle against Rob Cross. As we know, Mensa last week beat Peter Wright 7 1 again with a 103.01 average. I think that is the fourth time that Mensa has hit a free. Um, you know, a three-figure average. He is playing out of his skin, probably doing the right thing, not playing quite as many tournaments, focusing on the Premier League, uh, looks fresh, looks in really, really good form. Rob Cross last week beat Michael Smith 7-5 with a 96.22 average, playing a little bit better to where he is, seeing why he was world champ uh, and, and able to pick his game up, which is really good to see. But I'm going to put it out there, guys. I think that this week that Mencia Suljevic is going to beat Rob Cross. I'm going for Suljevic to beat Cross 7-5. Next up, we see Gerwin Iceman Price against Michael Van Gerwen. Uh, Price last week lost to Barney 7-5 with just an 89.01 average. Uh, MVG beat Whitlock 7-4 uh, with 100.17 average. Whitlock... Um, MVG didn't look himself last week. He, he, not not lethargic or whatever the word is. He just didn't seem to be his usual self. I know that Mardell picked up on it a number of times. Uh, 
I think this week is going to put that right, even though we had a, it's crazy I'm speaking like that with 100 average and he didn't look right, but we know how good he is. His checkout percentage right was 30.43. He only hit 7 out of 23. 7 out of 23 doubles. How often do you see that from MG, MVG? Very, very rare. Gerwin Price, he needs to win this. For me, I'm going to lay it down right now, guys. If Gerwin Price don't win, which I don't think he's going to, he is going to be relegated from the Premier League. He's lost too many games. He's not looking good enough. He can't buy a win. Um, he's certainly not the highest man at the moment. And I think he's getting frustrated. And it, is it happening again to another player? Just I didn't think it would the price. Just like it did all them years ago with Wes Newton, um, Mark Webster, uh, and, and all of them where the Premier League yellow class and has... Excuse me, he's caught up with him. Again, Kim Hybrix. I think that he's having a rough time. Each week's getting harder. The pressure's getting more. Um, I'm going for MVG to win this one really easily. 7-2. Next up, we move on to Raymond Van Barneveld against Gary Anderson. Really looking forward to this match. As I just said, Gary... Um, Raymond Van Barneveld last week won 7-5 against Price with a 91.65 average. Gary Anderson had that draw. He come back into it to get a 6-all draw um, with Daryl Gurney with a 94.62 average. Anderson is absolutely flying at the minute. Won the UK Open. He's won a couple of players' championships. Playing out of his skin. Not playing quite as well on telly. And he's, he's not doing great in the Premier League. Um, but I think that this week is going to have too much for Barney. Barney is sort of up and down. One week he's full of bars and pizzazz. The next week he just struggles to find his mojo. I don't think he's going to have it this week. Gary Anderson's going to win this one for me 7-4. So they are my predictions for the Premier League for night seven. As I said, it is on March the 15th. It's on Thursday night. It's from the Motor Point Arena, live on Sky Sports. Don't miss it. It's going to be absolutely awesome. But what I want to know is, what are your predictions? As you can see here, as I've um, shown through the video, head across to www.fantasydarts.tv and add your predictions. It is the new fantasy site for dart fans to join in and have loads of fun and can win cash prizes along the way. It's 100% free to play. Please, please tell your friends and share it. Also, great news, you're going to be able to run your own private leagues from Fantasy Darts and have your own prize pools with mates and everything. They're only going to be £5 and that's just for me setting them up and the hosting. But you can run with them, do your prize pools, have your own links and... and just have loads of banter from them. Um, as always, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do want to be on the show next week, please do get in touch, and I will get back to, back to you. Keep an eye out for the email. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv. That's where it's all happening. Uh, turn on your notifications. Hit the like button if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm desperate. I'm not desperate. Why am I saying I'm desperate? I'm keen to get to the 3,000 subs. As always, thanks a million, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.